I just realized this isn't Petra's baby. This is Lavina's baby. Wait, what? So I have it paused because to start off with, I believe that Chuckles is unfortunately passing away. As you guys saw at the very end of the last video, Chuckles unfortunately seems to be no longer chuckling, which is so sad. Well, that's unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Poor Chuckles. Let's come back to our family over here. We have, did you just pee yourself? Like, why are you so gross? What the heck? Go take a bath, Leoric. Oh no, Clara's also dying. We're gonna have to get some new hens in today's episode, I suppose. We're gonna have to save up because we don't really have money for any new hens right now. Poor Clara. No. The music for this is so sad too. Like it just sounds sad. Uh, Rasha unfortunately did not collect any hatchable eggs. I was kind of hoping for that. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I was hoping to get here on time, but Petra has already had her baby. So there is a new possible, a possible new like little baby right there. Let's do a dice roll because this baby might not get to live for very long. So for the first roll, it's going to go ahead and be for Petra. As long as she doesn't roll one, we're fine. As long as she doesn't, she wore a 19, she's fine. She survived. Petra survived the birth. For babies, it's a one, five, seven, 10, 15, and 20, and they die. So let's see when this baby dies. Our first baby actually survived. Okay, Petra, you, you kept your baby alive. Good on ya. Successful birth. We're gonna rename this baby though because it has a randomized name right now and I, I wanna use one of y'all's names. Petra, good job on keeping your baby alive there. I just realized this isn't Petra's baby. This is Lavina's baby. Wait, what? Yeah, no, this is Lavina's baby. Oh, Lavina over here having another baby with Paolo Roca? Interesting. Okay, so that's Lavina's baby. I guess we'll count that as the role for Lavina. I'm really hoping that Petra is okay when she gives birth as well. Okay, I just kind of put Petra in labor. So that way she can hopefully have her baby here soon. That's a weird glitch. That's gonna be interesting. The baby changes colors. And she is finally going into actual labor. There's gonna be at least two babies in this household. I believe that she's probably just having one baby as well. And it's a boy. So we're gonna go ahead and choose from the boy names. So we're naming the baby Walter. We're gonna see if he does in fact survive or if he unfortunately dies. Okay, so this first roll will be for Petra. I swear if she rolls a one, I'm gonna scream. She rolled a seven, Petra's fine. And now for Walter. So he can't roll a one, five, seven, 10, 15, or 20. Let's see what he rolls. He rolled a 12, he, he survives. Walter survives! Bless, okay, Walter does survive the birth. Walter is officially part of the family. So our bills just came in, lot tax is 876. I don't know what power we're using and it's 851 total. And someone did tell me, a couple of people in the comments actually did tell me to go ahead and sell all the fruits and vegetables and things. So I think that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're also gonna have you unload and put laundry away. After selling a bunch of those, I kind of see why our bills have been so high. Look at how much money that gave us from selling all those fruits and vegetables. That's insane. Well, we can definitely start to improve the farm here soon. Maybe do the water, like little water river type of feature that I was talking about. And we can most definitely pay our bills now. Well, we can definitely buy some new hens now. So let's go ahead and purchase some chickens. We're gonna get three more hens. It's 450 simoleons. So the coop capacity will be at four out of eight again. Oh, something else Thomas Watson coming over here kind of tells me. Um, something or reminded me. 
Something else y'all did suggest is to actually give us the dowry because it'll be like considered hush money to make sure that we can't become like part of the lordship in the future. So we are going to go and do that. We're going to say that that's just kind of him coming over here. We're going to have her come over here, invite to feel baby. We're going to show off our outfit or share big news. And we're going to go ahead and give ourselves 2,500 extra simoleons as kind of like a hush money. Like this is him coming over here like, hey, Here's some money just to make sure that you guys can survive. Your farm seems to be doing okay. But yeah, I want to make sure that you guys are, you know, making things, do, like having everything going well for you, for yourselves. And I feel like he'd be excited. I know he's not like in super like royal clothes, but this was just a quick outfit that I threw him in before. Is this like a random werewolf just walking in our house, getting some water and then also, of course, also Lilith is here. Oh my goodness. Why? Go away. I don't feel like make, giving you guys makeovers. Just just shoo, shoo, be gone with you. Okay, so I kind of used some of that money to expand some areas. We have an extra chicken coop now for whenever we start getting more chickens. I just bought a llama. We also still obviously have Bluebell the cow. I also added kind of like a little furnace area. I kind of want for... Leif or possibly one of Leif's sons become like a blacksmith and this has the wood workbench I believe or it's supposed to function as a wood workbench I don't know it might not end up looking working as a woodworking bench I, I I don't know it's not working but hopefully when I need it it'll start working <laughs> decided just to add that over there because like looking at the houses their houses didn't look much different from this but we have a lot of simoleons right now so I want to go ahead and use them to purchase different things some different improvements. I also, as you guys can probably see, I added a bit more of like a little river coming down from this main like little pond area. Kind of want to make the pond less round, but we'll work on that eventually. We apparently collected a hatchable egg. So let's stick that in there and hopefully we can get a new chicken. We also have all of our large crops, which all of our large crops are crops that we are going to sell, I think. Not really going to keep any of them this year. So let's sell all of these. And after selling all of those, we're back up to 19 thousand simoleons which is insane absolutely insane <laughs> rasha is also now officially in labor so she will be giving birth here any minutes now we're gonna hope it goes as well as petra's entire ordeal went because that went really well and i'm hoping that rasha is able to give us an heir to late also i am gonna throw it out there if you guys can think of anything that would make a lot of sense for us to do to improve the farm let me know and we can go ahead and do it. We can go ahead and try and make it happen. And Rashida is officially having the baby. She is not feeling necessarily the best. Oh gosh, that face. And <laughs> the baby boy has been born. Let's go ahead and pick a name out. Actually, no, we're going to go ahead and go with Leif Jr. Because it is a baby boy. It's our firstborn baby boy. We will see if this baby boy manages to survive or not. Look at how cute he is. Oh my goodness. So Rashna is apparently like super angry. Don't quite know what's up with her. But you know, the first role is going to go ahead and be for Rashida. So just as a reminder, she can't roll a one. If she rolls a one, she died in childbirth. Don't be a one. It's a 10. We're fine. It has a one in it, but it is officially a 10. We're all good. And now for little Leif Jr. He can't roll a multitude of numbers. He can't roll a one, a five, a seven, a 10, a 15, or a 20. We've had really good luck so far. I'm really hoping we'll have good luck on this one. This is the one that actually matters. On the one that matters, y'all. On the one, okay, Leif Jr. unfortunately dies. Oh my goodness. This is the one baby that mattered though. <laughs> of course he dies, what the heck? Okay, I've never actually had to kill a baby before. Debug, starves baby. Oh my goodness, goodbye Leif Jr. Do we even put in that Leif Jr. died like in our family tree? I feel like, we don't put in babies into the family tree unless they're like toddlers, right? Right? Like we're not going to write information on them because unless they're toddlers, I don't, I don't feel like there's a big point in doing it. Meanwhile, the family is over here just eating. She just based, she gave birth to an unfortunately a stillborn baby. We do not yet have an heir for this household, which is a little bit concerning. 
Okay, and the reason why we're back in this household is because we're gonna try for baby again with Petra really quick. Apparently, Petra has a major crush on Rahul now. Interesting. I won't give it away, but Petra is, in fact, pregnant again. I swear that they're woohooing. It's set to the same percentage, so they are pregnant once again, which is absolutely lovely. Now that our work is done here, we're going to go back to the main family. Leif's ghosts have flies flying around him. That's terrifying. It's a terrifying thought, honestly. And we have made a pigeon pie. There's also some gruel that someone else made. I know it hasn't been a full day, but we're gonna go ahead and have them try for baby again. I'm just really trying to ensure that we can hopefully have an heir to this household. Okay, and I'm not gonna spoil what it is, but she is pregnant again. Rashida is pregnant, which is exciting. I love when ghosts just randomly start food and then they don't finish it. It's always just so lovely. Okay, awesome. We just collected another hatchable egg. So let's go ahead and throw that in here. It's a normal quality egg. The other hatchable egg was excellent. So I'm hope I have hope that these two will actually hatch for us for once. So far today has just been a pretty rainy day. So nothing too crazy has happened. The craziest thing that happened was that Leoric came and made the fish head stew and then just left it on the stove. That's pretty much it. Okay, I've played with Olive Tinker so many times. And then there's Miki Akai. I think Tinker makes more sense though. Let's invite Olive to hang out a lot. But Arthur did meet a couple of girls. I sent him to school literally just so he could meet some girls and get to know them and stuff. So we're going to invite Olive over. I feel like that's actually a fairly medieval name. Okay, so I gave Olive a little makeover. This is what she looks like now. So we're gonna go ahead and ask for advice. Just gonna get to know Olive a little bit more. Apparently, Petra has come over to visit as well. Interesting. She said that she had a gift for us. I wonder what it's gonna be. It looks like Rhea might have gotten sick. Oh no, Rhea! Rhea, why? Why'd you have to go and get yourself sick? Oh, it looks like they're gonna have their first kiss. Lovely. There we go. Gosh dang it, she already left. Okay, well, whatever, that's fine. That's fine. We'll get her later on, okay? It's fine. Freya just ran away, and Olive is now Arthur's girlfriend. Two very different things. Dang it, Rhea. Okay, can you stop going to talk to your plants and stuff and actually continue to talk about marriage, kiss cheek, do things like that instead of going and trying to constantly <laughs> talk to your plants? Please. Please, Arthur. Rashida has officially found out that she is eating for two. Oh, and the egg is ready to hatch. <gasps> That's exciting. Let's go hatch the egg. We haven't had a hatchable egg in a very long time. I am very excited about that. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, we have a new little chick. We're having Arthur propose really quick as someone in modern clothing walks behind us. Is she gonna say yes? And she said yes, awesome. So they are now engaged. Let's go ahead and elope immediately with Olive because I honestly do not feel like dealing with all the wedding shenanigans today. So we're just gonna elope immediately instead and have them officially be married. And that means that it'll be official. Arthur will be moving out. So we're gonna go ahead and have him split into the Tinker household. We'll have to give them some makeovers at some point. Oh, they live in like the nicest residential house here. Okay. So the house that I'm actually gonna place down for them is by Paradise Beach 90. It's considered a medieval townhouse, but I figured this would be kind of good because I think we are gonna pay the 5,000 simoleons because I feel like we should consider Olive more of like a middle-class sim. In my opinion, it just, it seems appropriate, you know? Okay, since I have decided that this is gonna be a middle-class family, I did give Arthur a bit of a makeover into something that I feel like makes him looks a little bit more middle class. Here is Tina Tinker. Here is Yasmin Tinker. And then here is Olive Tinker as well. All three of them got a slight makeover. She looks a little bit more of like a higher class now, in my opinion, like more towards the middle class. And we will get rid of the 5,000 simoleons once we get back to our household. So we're gonna go ahead and have Arthur and Olive go ahead and try for a baby really quick. Awesome, they're trying for a baby, and then we'll see afterwards if Olive did in fact get pregnant, and then we'll have to wait three days to find out if the baby survives. Olive is in fact pregnant, so that's exciting. She will give birth in three days time. 
Something else I wanted to do really quick is because Yasmin and Tina are both young adults. We're going to go ahead and roll for them and see if they survived young adulthood or if they are going to die now as young adults. Okay, to start, Yasmin can't roll a 2, 6, 11, 13, or 14. So let's see, does she survive her young adulthood or is she going to die like right away? She rolled a 20. She's good. She's surviving through her young adulthood. They are going to be aging up into adults fairly soon as well. So we are going to have to roll again for them. I'll go ahead and give her like at least a little bit like next year. She'll be safe. Then the year after that is when she will also age up. And now it's time for Tina Tinker and to find out will she survive or will we have some issues there? Come on, Tina. I feel like everybody probably wants you to survive. So let's see. What did you get? 18 she survives okay so tina and jasmine or yasmine both survive it's so weird just having rashida and Leif in the household now like there's only two sims currently in our household that's a little bit scary if i'm being honest okay guys i think i'm gonna go ahead and leave off this episode here this year 1304 has had so much happen again it took me so long to record it I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys all next time on my channel. Let me know if there's any improvements that you guys think I should do to the household. I just remembered we have to get rid of 5,000 simoleons. So we got rid of 5,000 simoleons. We're out down to 14,000, which is still quite a bit of simoleons. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and check out the next episode right over here or the playlist right down here. I am so excited to continue playing this game. It takes a long time to play, but it's fun when I'm playing it. I will see you guys all next time. Bye, guys.